All right, guys, in today's video, we are walking through the simple daily steps that you can take to completely crush imposter syndrome during your job search while you're either stepping into a new leadership role or a more senior role or even switching to a brand new career path, but you don't want to start, you know, back at an entry level position. There's a lot of imposter syndrome or fear that comes up along the way. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps and the tools that our students use daily to make sure that they completely crush that imposter syndrome. So for those of you who are new, my name is Katie. I am a coach with Career Sprout, where on average it takes us about 63 days to grow somebody's salary by about $37,000. So with that, let's dive in. All right, guys, so this is hands down one of my favorite exercises to have people do because it makes every single step of the job search so much easier. Any transition that you really are doing in life, this exercise is going to make it exponentially smoother for you. So first thing you're going to do, let's say you want to become a product manager. You've never been a product manager. You're transitioning from engineer or consultant or whatever the case might be, what you want to do is go through and research about 15 to 20 job descriptions. Now there is a little hack that you can go and kind of put your, put yourself in a hiring manager's shoes and look at um, something like LinkedIn that has product manager job description templates, right? You can start there and that makes it a little bit easier, but then I would still go to your dream companies and look at their product manager role descriptions, job descriptions, and make sure you've got all of the important keywords, skills, qualifications, experience, all the things that are repeated across multiple job descriptions are going to be important. You want to just make a list of them here. So here's an example. As I mentioned, um, this is not an all-inclusive list, but this is a lot of the a lot of the main points that a company hiring a product manager would be looking for. So once you've listed this out, Next thing you want to do is something called, many of you know it as STAR for your interview prep, where you want to write out a situation, the task, the action, and the result that you have experience doing with this you know, skill, qualification, experience, whatever it was they were asking for. Now, the cool part about this is once you start doing, so let's say they're looking for your experience with guiding cross-functional teams. Cool. What have you done, if anything, that would fall under that category? So this is an example. This is actually a real example from one of our um, students. This was one of the responses that they prepped for an interview that works really well for this exercise. And actually, they did this first, and then they had it ready for the interview, where they walked, talked through, okay, here's the situation. One of our clients we recently signed on, had no prior experience with us, asked us to deliver several large-scale app development requests that need to be delivered in less than four weeks. This particular project had three distinct deliverables, which they had committed to their own clients. And knowing that it was going to be due in a short amount of time, this person gathered an all-hands-on-deck meeting with cross-functional teams and outlined the importance of this project and the future business it could potentially bring them. After getting buy-in from each team, they gathered the requirements from the client, created a clear and concise spec for the, each of the teams involved on the project, and then not only were they able to deliver the project on time, but they delivered it before the re product release to give them enough time, give the uh, client enough time to make some minor tweaks. Then the success of that project ultimately led to that client viewing them as a trusted partner rather than just a vendor, and it resulted in over $750,000 in additional project work right? That is an awesome example of cross-functional teams. So what you want to do, the whole point of this is looking at, okay, what are the, the tangible things that they are looking for, as well as the intangible things that this new role that you're stepping into is looking for? And then one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest issues people have, or the biggest reasons for imposter syndrome is they don't, they don't know how to transfer what they've done into this new language or they don't know how to transfer the, they haven't done all of the things. So they get nervous that they only have, you know, 40 to 80% of whatever's listed. When the reality is they typically have enough examples like this. You typically only need about six really strong examples like this to fill out bulk of what somebody is looking for and, or at least prove that you have a history of tallying up wins for your company so that they can see, oh, okay, this person is, you know, happy, humble, hungry, and they can step into this role. And they may not have, 
you know, direct experience managing a multidisciplinary development team, but they've got other experience that is potentially going to transfer over. So this is a great example where this one situation that they, one project that they were really proud of with really tangible, quantifiable results, they are able to use this now for nine of the 30 most important things, right? So that already, you're already 30, almost 30% 30 of the way there with just one example. And so typically you have about half a dozen or so really proud examples of past experience. This is not lying. This is not making stuff up. These are past experiences, past projects that you've worked on that you're really proud of that you can very clearly, concisely articulate in a very compelling way to share with your interviewer how you are poised to step into this new position. So once you go through this uh, exercise here, and it's very simple, you can write it out by hand. I am a big fan of Google Sheets. I'm an Excel nerd, so to speak. So I like to just have very simple, here's the important things that the, the job descriptions are looking for. Here's my real life examples um, and filling this out. Once you've done that, the next best tool that I have ever come across, this in and of itself is enough for some people to crush their imposter syndrome, realize that they actually are poised and ready to you know, step into a role. There are other people who even with this, either one or two things will happen. One, there's a lot of gaps that scare them. Or two, even though it looks good on paper, there's still internal struggles that are happening. So this is something that I learned actually years ago from um, multiple mentors. They all kind of had their versions of it that I put together, I should say we put together into what we call the mindset path. Now this is from one of our partner companies, Operation 22 Elite, and I'll have the link for this right below where you can watch an explainer video. But this is hands down, once you've done this exercise, this is the daily hack that will change your life no matter what growth you're trying to get. Job search, family growth, you know, personal health growth, whatever the case may be, this is a mindset pack to literally reprogram your brain or retrain your brain to become the, a better version of yourself. Now, this is not, uh, I get to tell you what that version of yourself is. This is nobody gets to tell you what the better or best version of yourself is. You get to pick it and you get to write it out here in this packet. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because um, as you can see here, I'll drop the link and there's an explainer video for you to watch it. But essentially the premise of this is we will reactively become new versions of ourselves throughout our lives. The first time you went to kindergarten, you became a kindergartner, right? You became somebody who went to school. First time you went to high school, you became a high schooler. The first time you went on a date and had a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you became a girlfriend, you became a boyfriend, right? Once you got married, you became a husband or you became a wife. Once you had kids, you became a mom, you became a dad. And at each of those stages, you had a fundamental shift in your identity. You changed who you were, you changed how you showed up to the world, you changed how you identified yourself. And even, I mean, things that aren't even necessarily massive or don't now feel like massive monumental things is like, at one point you became a driver, you got a driver's license, right? And so these life events happen to us and we will reactively become a different person. There's no reason why you can't proactively choose to become a different version of yourself, hopefully a better version of yourself. And this is something that we are actively actually doing every single day. We are either becoming a better or a lesser version of ourselves with each choice, each decision that we make. So this is a mindset pack to help give you a framework to, first of all, define who this new person is. This is especially powerful if you're going about to step into a new career, define who that person is. And then it gives you the resources or the framework to re every morning and every night mentally train your brain to become that person. And it it's very powerful to know, you know, hey, how would essentially just asking yourself, how would a product manager ask, act in this situation, right? Or how would a, you know, senior engineer, like whatever your next role is, how would this person act in this situation? How would this person carry themselves? What is this person's daily habits? What, how does this person act? How does this person respond? How does this person plan, right? So doing each of those things, super, super powerful. Uh, this has been the secret you know, tool underlying behind the scenes of all of our most successful students. All of them have spent 
proactive time really working on defining who they are becoming and then actively working to become that person. So hopefully it helps you guys as well. As I mentioned, I will put the links below here so that you guys have access to this mindset pack and you can just click right here for a quick explainer video on how to actually fill it out and how to, you know, look at it each day. But with that, um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one and I will talk to you soon.